The LOS is explain an interest rate as the sum of a real risk-free rate and premiums that compensate investors for bearing distinct types of risk. Okay, so an interest rate can be looked at as the real risk-free interest rate plus an inflation premium. If I'm going to tie up my money for some uh, period of time and get it back in the future, there may be inflation. So I'm, I may need to add an inflation premium to the interest rate plus a default risk premium. If there's some chance that in the future I don't get my money back, well, that's a default risk premium. Liquidity premium, if there's some chance that I can't sell my investment or get out of, uh, you know, my money's tied up and not, there's no liquidity, then there'd be a type of liquidity premium. We see that sometimes with hedge funds. Plus a maturity premium, again, if my, uh, the longer that I go out, uh, further in time, um, more risk for inflation, etc. So there's a maturity premium. Uh, the longer that I need to wait to get to my money back, sometimes that uh, results in, in, a, uh, in, a, in a premium. So uh, one thing to look at uh, when we're also talking about that real uh, risk-free rate, I put this in, one plus the real interest rate, and you'll see this later on in economics, equals one plus the nominal interest rate divided by one plus the inflation rate. So approximately, often we just do a quick approximation, the real interest rate equals the nominal interest rate minus the inflation rate. So you can just spin the algebra there, the nominal interest rate equals the real interest rate plus the inflation. So I just have a little example here again. Uh, say the nominal interest rate is 3%, inflation is 2%. Well, if we just did the quick and dirty uh, approximation, we'd say, oh, the approximate real interest rate is three minus two equals one, which is the nominal interest rate minus the inflation rate, okay? But if we do the formula properly, as per the CFA, one plus the real interest rate equals one plus the nominal over one plus the inflation rate, we see one plus real equals 1.03 divided by 102. So the real equals 1.0098 minus one, and so it's 0.98039%. It's a little bit less than the one. So we need to be careful that in some questions we need to be very precise. We don't use the approximation. I just threw that in. That's a little bit extra for this LOS, but we're going to see it a number of times through, throughout the CFA. So I thought uh, this was a good place to include it as well. Thank you.